Getting ready for pro fights, you know, you kind of have to put everything else behind your fight and uh, focus on, you know, the fight. You can't let work come in the way. The fight has to become the main priority if you're going to go in there and compete at a high level and try to reach the levels that you want to get to. Down here I have the best coaches that you can find anywhere around. One thing that really makes a coach, um, you know, great is the uh, investment that they put into their athletes. And my coaches are completely invested into me. That does a couple different things. Not only are you getting a lot of their attention, so you're able to improve quicker, but you see that and it motivates you and you feel a responsibility to um, prove them right in their investment in you. Down here at uh, Style Training Pittsburgh, Team Henzo Gracie, I'm completely a homegrown fighter. I did uh, train uh, other places before uh, you know, our gym opened up and I developed some skill sets there, but uh, pretty much that has all been retooled down to here. Everything I thought I knew, I found out that I didn't know it exactly as well as I should have. And I have a great jujitsu coach, Warren Stout. He's also a great MMA coach. He's a brilliant mind. Uh, he can see things that no one else can see. Uh, and he's not afraid to tell you where you need to pick things up and uh, where you're doing good and where your focus should be. My boxing coach, Will Morrill, he's uh, just completely open-minded. Uh, a lot of times you find boxing coaches and they want you to go in there and they want you to box. They want you to use boxing techniques because that's what they know and that's what they're comfortable with. Will looks at fighting from every single aspect, so he's willing to adapt. And uh, plus he's very dedicated to the team. My Muay Thai coach, Crew Reese, comes with just uh, an insane amount of experience, up near 80 fights, uh, most of them in Thailand, some in other countries around Thailand, uh, and several years of training, you know? So uh, his knowledge is just such a great asset. And recently, uh, we've been picking up, you know, something that some people don't think of when it comes to fighting is like the outside training, such as, you know, strength and conditioning. I think my uh, strength and conditioning has gone through the roof. I think that it's been proven in my past two fights that, you know, I have tons of cardio and I'm just getting stronger and stronger and it's making me, you know, a scary opponent for anybody. Uh, and the last thing that I think the coaching staff brings to the table is the mental game. The mental game's the hardest thing to hone in on. And, uh, you know, with good coaches that also act as good mentors, they know how to talk, talk to you, uh, talk you up when you're feeling like you're not good enough, talk you down when you're feeling like you're too good, and, you know, helping you get through the, the, the panics uh, of a fight camp. Having access to the other gyms in the Henzo Gracie, uh, you know, affiliation, the Henzo Gracie family has been a huge, huge asset. Everybody in the Henzo Gracie Association, we all get together and we train together. If I go out to any of the other gyms, they bring me in with open arms and they put as much attention on me as they would one of their own guys. Uh, some of the benefits is that in Pittsburgh, I'm a little bit of a big fish in a small pond. Out there, I'm a small fish in a big pond. So I get to go with some of the top athletes. I've worked out alongside, you know, uh, UFC fighters, uh, Bellator fighters, World Series of Fighting fighters, and uh, World Championship black belts, uh, All-American National Championship wrestlers. Um, so, you know, you go out there, you see where you really stand. You see uh, how much you still have to go to make it to the high levels. And also it can be a confidence builder. When you go out there, and you know, you're getting a workout in and, and your training partner's a UFC fighter and you feel like you're either holding your own or getting the better of them, it reaffirms like that you can do this, you know, just like when you got into it because you believe that you can make it to that level. You know, it gives you a little boost of confidence to let you know that you're on the right track and you're gonna make it. When traveling, if uh, I'm gonna go train, uh, there's two places that I really love to train and that's uh, Henzo Gracie Philly with uh, Daniel Gracie. I think Daniel Gracie is just an amazing coach, jiu-jitsu, MMA. Um, he's putting fighters in the UFC. Uh, he just really has that hard, hard to learn ability to teach. You know, he can relay his message good. He can motivate his fighters. And you know, he's been through it. He's fought at high levels, you know, he's seen it all. So he knows what it takes and he knows what you have to put into it. Uh, my other favorite place to train is uh, The Edge in Hoboken. Um, amazing wrestlers up there. Dave Esposito, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. You should look up some of his matches. Just a, 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 an insanely exciting wrestler, amazing speed, slick technique. And uh, they really bring you in up at uh, Edge Hoboken. Um, you know, they come in, they give you the workouts you need, they give you the coaching you need, they share their secrets with you. Um, they're completely open uh, for you when you go train up there. And, and like I said, at both places, you're getting the best training you can get in the world.
my wrestling, and uh, what that allows me to do is control the cage, control uh, where the fight's going to be. Um, if I'm fighting someone who's going to outstrike me, I can put them on the ground. If I'm going to fight somebody who might have the upper hand on the ground, I'll keep it on the feet and uh, outstrike them. Uh, I think the main thing I need to work on right now is, uh, you know, uh, sharpening up my defense on the feet, uh, checking kicks. Um, you know, being aware of my position in the cage to really capitalize on my offense while striking. I think my biggest strength is being a coach is leading by example. Um, all the guys down here are kind of following my footsteps. They look to me for guidance. Uh, they try and model their career off of my career. Uh, try and, you know, do the same things that I've done right and uh, take my mistakes and learn from them so they don't have to make the same mistakes. Uh, a lot of the guys here, you know, they come up to me and ask me for advice a lot and, you know, I like to think that that's one of my biggest strengths in helping it. Also, there's a lot of, like, uh, a good relationships uh, on the team here. Um, uh, I kind of feel like I'm a, a closer conduit to some of the guys than uh, sometimes, you know, uh, when a coach is uh, explaining something to you, there's a little bit of a gap there. But when you know you have someone who's part of the team and also is kind of playing both sides, the coach and the, the teammate, you know, that can be relayed uh, better sometimes.